Thanks for taking the time to answer my questions. We're picking 18th in the upcoming draft and are very interested in what you bring to the table. All right, let's get to it. Now, obviously, you play at arguably our strongest position in point guard. John Wall is our centerpiece and who we're building this team around. We've got some promising pieces around him in JaVel McGee, Andre Bloch, and Nick Young. I think we're really lacking in depth, and I think you would be a great fit for our team. How well can you handle being on a team like this where the focus won't be on you? All right then, one more. This next question is more how you feel about what we're doing here in Washington. Having recently traded away our former cornerstone in Gilbert Arenas, the franchise turned a new page in that we brought in a lot of very talented young guys, headlined by John Wall. With the group we have now, do you feel like you'd fit in? Well, that didn't go quite as I expected. We'll see you at the draft. Well played out there tonight. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the GM of the New York Knicks. We currently have the 17th pick in the draft and are narrowing down our list of draft targets. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Like L.A., playing in New York is like playing under the microscope. Your every move on the court will be critiqued and analyzed by the fans who expect nothing less than a championship year in and year out. Beyond that, your every move off the court will be chronicled and fed to the public by the paparazzi. What I'm trying to ask you is, are you ready for this? Is this a lifestyle you can feel comfortable living while still maintaining your full focus on the team? Let's see, one more question, if you don't mind. If you were a GM, where would you draft yourself in this draft? Okay, I think I've heard all I needed to hear for now. You're definitely someone we can use on our team. Now we just need you to be available when it's our turn to pick. I know you just got done playing and probably want to catch a shower, so I'll keep this brief. I'm with the Timberwolves, and we're picking 20th in the upcoming draft. We love what we saw in you tonight and want to ask you some questions to see how well you'd fit in with us. Question number one. I feel like we have a really solid point guard in Ricky Rubio, but I would be remiss to not look at all available options in the draft. How do you think you compare to Ricky? Interesting. Next question. Minneapolis is truly a beautiful city, but are you aware of just how brutally cold the winters are? We have freezing cold, we have snow, we have it all. I've seen players walk in telling me that nothing can stop them, only to be defeated by the weather. The gosh darn weather. Can you deal with these types of adverse conditions? Well, I can see that we are not a match, unfortunately. Good luck to you on draft night. Good evening and welcome to the 2011 NBA Draft. Tonight is the culmination of the efforts 
For some of the world's most talented young players, it is a time for their dreams to be realized and to be welcomed to the elite group of players that are called NBA players. We thank all of you for joining us on this exciting night, whether you are watching on television or following us online. And finally, a big thanks to all the fans here in the building for providing this wonderful atmosphere. Now, let's get going. With the first pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Kyrie Irving from Duke University. With the second pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Derrick Williams from University of Arizona. With the third pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select Ennis Cantor from Turkey. With the fourth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Tristan Thompson from the University of Texas. With the fifth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Toronto Raptors select the power from the University of Houston. With the sixth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select Jan Vesley from Czech Republic. With the seventh pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select Bismack Biyombo from Congo. With the eighth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Brandon Knight from the University of Kentucky. With the ninth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Bobcats select Kemba Walker from the University of Connecticut. With the tenth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select Jimmy Fredette from Brigham Young University. With the eleventh pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select Clay Thompson from Washington State University. With the twelfth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select Al Horford from the University of Colorado. With the thirteenth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Heat Suns select Markeith Morris from the University of Kansas. With the fourteenth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Houston Rockets select Marcus Morris from the University of Kansas. With the fifteenth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Indiana Pacers select Kawhi Leonard from San Diego State University. With the sixteenth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Philadelphia Seventy Sixers select Nikola Vucevic from the University of Southern California. With the 17th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the New York Knicks select the 22-year-old point guard from Florida. You know, they had the, the heater of the year award. Haters ball, you know, 24 7 around the clock. That's how they do it. That's how they do it.
Seen another person who could just close the curtains on these other girls working it. Cause your swagger is hurting them, and I think they know that you suck. Take them to church with it. The look in your eyes. Give me all your time. Make my meet up. Swagger is the vibe. Come take a vibe. Shorty, this is L. Now you take my hand, make me your man. We can go spend some down. Yo, I'm gonna put it down if you just give me the time. So. Yo. 